Welcome back to From Scrapbooker to Cardmaker. Today we're going to talk about stamps. Up until this point I've kind of avoided stamping so you can see how you could use all your scrapbooking supplies, uh, but eventually most people get into stamping, or a lot of people do, because we find it so beneficial not just to making cards, but to our scrapbook pages as well. And I'll show you in this video several examples of how I've used um, some of the stamps I'm going to show you on my scrapbook pages, and some of these go back a few years. Um, I mean, I've been doing that for a, quite a long time. Um, but also I want to share with you what kinds of stamps that I have found to be the most valuable that work for both, for scrapbooking and for card making, some of the mistakes that I made along the way. Um, let's start though with the just a real quick, the differences in, in the different types of stamps. There are stamps that are mounted on a wood block, and those are red rubber stamps. These usually give you, you, or you give you a very, very detailed image. If you have a real detailed image, it often works better in the red rubber. They're a little more expensive, they take up a little more space. Um, you can also get some red rubber stamps that don't have the wood block. These are called cling stamps, and they, they still cling to a clear acrylic block, and they take up less space, but they still give you that really good image, and they last a long time. And the last are uh, the clear acrylic stamps, which you can see through. So that's the real advantage to these, so you can see exactly where you're placing it, uh, and they're, those are very nice uh, as well. And I have some of everything, and I've, I use them. It just really kind of depends on what I'm looking for. If I have a choice, the clear stamps are less expensive, and um, especially where I'm buying holiday things or stamps that are, you know, a little, I'm not as, as much of a cutesy person, a little more cuter things that I might want to use on some cards or an occasional page, um, I would probably go for the uh, a less expensive one. This particular one I have in my hand um, is from My Mind's Eye. The paper manufacturers, a lot of them offer stamps, and sometimes you can get some really great deals. This was about $6, I think, and it's a great set. So uh, My Mind's Eye does a lot of stamp sets, and they're, they're, they're pretty inexpensive, and they're very versatile. So uh, especially these doilies, I can do a lot with these on my scrapbook pages as well, but also doilies are a trend. So, you know, in a couple of years, we probably won't see doilies anymore, and you may still want to use them or may not, and you haven't invested a fortune in them. Now let's look at some of the things, well, before we do that, let's, let's talk about blocks. You are going to need some uh, clear acrylic blocks, if, whether you use cling stamps or the clear stamps. Um, I recommend whatever blocks you buy, they have the grid printed on them. Uh, I would not buy any acrylic block that didn't have a grid on it because you use the grid so much, and you'll see that in my videos later on uh, where I'm actually making some cards. Now, the very first set of stamps I bought was from Stamping Up. I had been scrapbooking for, I don't know, <laughs> many, many, many years, and I went to a Stamping Up event, and it was near Christmas time, and I was really excited about this tree set and the card that, that was demonstrated or that uh, used this set, so I bought it. It's called Lovely as a Tree from Stamping Up. I will do links on my blog post to anything that's still available. Uh, available on this set is, I have used this for dozens, probably a hundred cards now. It is a really versatile set. I've also used some of the smaller images on my scrapbook pages. I've been able to do a ton with this because trees are a very generic thing. You can just, you can use them for any season. Um, they worked for the holidays. Just, you just do, a, they, you know, they're a symbol of life. You can do a whole lot of things with them. This would make a great border on a scrapbook page. I've never done that, but it would, you could stamp it over and over and do a really wonderful border. So they're, Sets like this are very versatile. Um, the second set I bought from Stamping Up was this set called Big Flowers. And I'd love to tell you that I had a grand plan for this when I bought it. I didn't. It just appealed to me, and I was in a hurry, and I just said, this is the one I'll take. And it has turned out to be a very useful set. I've used it for a lot of cards, and I've also used it for some scrapbook pages, and I'll illustrate that later on in the video and show you some examples because I can work with punches with this and, again, do a lot of different things. I like these images where it's not a specific image. It's, it's not a little bird or, you know, butterflies are great. You can use butterflies over and over again, but you can do these in borders. You can do them by themselves. You can do a lot of different things with them. Uh, with that in mind, the, one of the other uh, kinds of sets that I've used that are kind of generic images are these flourishes. Now, they didn't come in these clear um, jewel cases. I put them in the jewel cases. Uh, a couple of these are from Autumn Leaves. I bought them at like a Hobby Lobby, Michael's, that type of thing. Um, 
and one of them I think is from Scrappy Cat. But you can get flourishes from a lot of different places. I have probably used these more than any stamps that I own. Uh, they're great accents on, they're great for cards, for background uh, of a card. They're great for a scrapbook page and you've got this little dead corner that needs something to fill in. You can do a little, little flourish and just adds a whole lot to it. So those are wonderful. Uh, Stamping Up still makes this set that has the flourish and then has a couple of other kind of generic images and some words. When you're buying sets that you think you, you want for your cards and you might use on a scrapbook page too, it's nice to find sets that have some greetings in them. This is another one that I, that I really like and I'll link um, to uh, on my blog. It's still available, I believe, from Stampin' Up! It's called Upsy Daisy. It's been a very, very popular set and you do all kinds of things with these daisies. There's oodles of different cards out in galleries made with these. It has three great um, word stamps. Now these particular words are probably going to be the kind of thing you only use on a card, but you still get a lot of value out of this set. Some of the word stamps that um, are popular for scrapbook pages are also great for cards too. From Allie Edwards uh, and Technique Tuesday, a lot of her sets have all kinds of different phrases on them that people use on their scrapbook pages. Nicole McGuart does some great videos using these. Um, and I've just started getting these. The first set I've, I've gotten, well, I think I have two of her sets. And, um, but you can use them on cards too. You know, they're wonderful things uh, to put on cards as well. Um, things that like you are my favorite memory, you know, things like that can be, can go on a card as well as a scrapbook page. So you can get some double duty there. Background stamps are something that you may want to consider collecting because they're wonderful for the background of a card. That's really what they're designed for. These three are all from Hero Arts. Uh, but lots of companies make background stamps. Background stamps are, I've never seen them in anything but the red rubber, whether it's a cling stamp or a wood mounted stamp, that they're just so large, I think, is the reason why they're done that way. Um, I love this ledger stamp. I don't think I've ever used it for a card, but I could, but I, I've used it tons on scrapbook pages for, for my journaling, but it would make a nice background for a card. Uh, this one I've used a lot on cards. You can also use these for um, stamping over things like chipboard, if you want to add a little text, a little visual texture to your chipboard or other elements, or just dress up a little bit of cardstock that you're putting on either a card or a scrapbook page, background stamps are great for that. And I'm going to do some videos and show you how I use um, the, the background stamps. Now, as I said, the things that I typically go for in um, a clear stamp, if at all possible, are, are things like my um, holiday stamps. Now, I do have a lot of stamping up holiday stamps because they make some great ones in the wood uh, mounted, but I'm trying to look for more that are a little bit less expensive. This is a set from Hero Arts I got this past Christmas. I used it. I made a lot of cards. A set like this, though, except for those snowflakes, there's not much I can do scrapbooking-wise. So this is going to be very card-specific, but I don't have a fortune in it. So, you know, I'm really trying to stretch my dollar and my space and get as much out of my stamps as possible. I also wanted to share with you a couple of mistakes that I made early on. Uh, when I first started uh, going to stamping up uh, events, I thought, you know, these are great products. I bet there's some wonderful stuff on eBay. Well, there's lots and lots of stamping up stuff on eBay, and you can get some good deals. But you can also, if you're not sure what you want yet, get things that aren't as useful to you. I'm not saying these were bad prices. They just turned out to be stamp sets that I didn't use very much. This one is a pretty old set from 1998 and the the images were just, they just didn't really fit in very well with scrapbook pages and they seemed a little dated on my cards. So I haven't used it very much. It's taking up quite a bit of room in my drawers. It's probably time to, to move that out. This set is really cute. I've used it on several cards, but once you've used this a few times on cards, you've kind of used it. There's you know, it's just not one of those you're going to repeat over and over again. So when you're looking at stamps, think about is this something I can use both on cards and on scrapbook pages? Is this something that I won't get tired of, that I can use over and over and over again? And, and things like this are, uh, at least for me. So uh, that doesn't mean you can't buy lots of cute little sets if you want to, uh, but most of us have a premium, our, our space is at a premium, and then of course we have, you know, we have to work within our budget because there's so much great stuff to buy in this uh, industry. So let me show you some examples of where I've used some of these uh, stamps that I might have originally bought for cards on my scrapbook pages.
This is that second Stamping Up set that I bought, Big Flowers, that I've stamped and cut into half circles and used for a border. Here's a swirl stamp that I've used as a background on the page. And another stamp with some swirls that's also been used as a background. Here's a nice stamp that's created an accent. Stars are another stamp that works very well on your scrapbook pages. I distressed some chipboard, painted it, and then and used um, a damask stamp to add some interest. And of course you can do a lot with flourishes on a page. Here's this large stamp that was designed really for cards, but it's a wonderful accent on a scrapbook page. I also love leaves, so I have uh, some leaf stamps, and I've used and used and used those. This one, I used the stamps on the background, as well as cut out, stamped and cut out the leaves on my page. And then here's that same leaf set, again, as an accent, just to sort of fill in and create um, a flow to the page. I didn't mention when I was showing this page earlier that in addition to the stars, there are some um, stamped words, and these came out of sets that were originally designed for um, cards. So I used uh, those as well. Um, so I got, uh, I got a lot of value from my stamps on some of these pages. Thank you for joining me today, and there is another video on inks, and then later on we'll do some uh, cards in separate videos. Thank you.